time out? Um, we just had to play our brand of basketball, uh, just swinging the ball and getting into the paint and just try to get into that middle of the paint for that zone that they played all game. And we just succeeded really well. Casey, how big was that end of that first half for you guys to be able to come out and you know pull away a little bit, give yourself a cushion as you headed into the second half? I was big. It gave us a lot of momentum going into the second half. Um, like John said, we were just swinging the ball, getting the ball happy on offense, and then our defense kind of picked up our offense because we were able to create turnovers and get out in transition, which is you know where we're at our best. Guys, uh, early December you lost three, uh, four games to start the month, but really haven't lost since. I think it's six in a row now. Uh, what's different about this team today than it was maybe a month ago? Can you just make me do that? Okay. Um, uh, I think we're just having more fun with the process. Um, we just have really bought into what Koff is wanting from us, and just like we said, getting the ball happy and making. I mean, we're making shots too, so that really helps too. Kaysen, do you allow yourself to think about Summit League championships and trying to daydream a little bit? Because what you guys have already done, two games in the Dakotas, beating South Dakota State, beating a team that's tied for first, I mean, you're making inroads to what it takes to win a championship. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I do find myself looking ahead, but then I got to, like, remind myself, like you said, we got one game at a time, and it's a long conference season. Um, you know, it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. And, you know, in the past, we haven't really started like this. So, I mean, thoughts like that can start to creep in, but um, that's where we just got to just keep um, reminding ourselves that, you know, we're not, you know, we're not in Sioux Falls yet. You know, we don't have that number one seed yet. Um, you know, we may be in first place right now, but, you know, we got to keep playing the way we've been playing in order to keep it that way. Still, it's January 10th. How cool is first place for the Don Song? Uh, it does sound it does sound good. Um, you know it's our best start we've had. You know, you know, you know definitely since I've been here. Since Peck and Paul was a senior. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this. You is, reminded me of that. Uh, but yeah, we're just having so much fun right now. You know, with each other and just playing basketball, just playing unselfish on both ends of the floor. And you know, we're we're excited to get back out there on Sunday in Vermillion. Um, we were just we just practiced a lot throughout the week and just really got the ball into the middle and it really opened up like when when there or once the ball got in the middle we just kind of passed it out or just attacked the it was a two on one situation and it really benefited us. I mean, not played for a week after kind of having that crazy schedule and nothing was really kind of balanced. How important was this week to kind of be normal and kind of get your guys' bodies back together? Oh, uh, it was key for us. You know, we had a great week of preparation leading up to this game. You know, we had. You know, we had a day off where we could just, you know, relax. And then we had, you know, two great practices to come into today. So um, our preparation before games like this has been amazing. And it's a big part of why we've been able to be, be successful uh, these last uh, four conference games. John, uh, Nez Aquezi had, I think, 14 or 16 in the first half. How big was it to keep him off the glass and, and be able to maintain that lead in the second half? Uh, it was key. Uh, we emphasized just four firing or trying to double team him and you get him on – Get him uh, uncomfortable and just making him pass it, and we were able to get some steals off of it. John, I asked Casey this yesterday. Um, defensively, your guys' numbers have improved a lot from non conference play to conference play. Where do you feel like you guys have made the biggest improvement on those defensive ends? Um, I think we've been midline a lot better. Um, when we And we've been heating the ball up a lot better, and when they skip it, we were able to close out and just force some baseline, and then there's going to be help. Yeah, Casey's thoughts on first place. What are your thoughts on first place? It's pretty cool. We'll, we'll see. Uh, Kaysen, how big is it now to, to not have a, a letdown going into Sunday? Um, it's huge. You know, we're going into an environment where, you know, the last two years we haven't been successful at. Um, you know, we got to you got to come out with tons of energy and we got to just have a good day, good two days of preparation and um, just take care of our bodies um, until the game. Are you going to South Dakota next? Yes. And you know it's supposed to snow this weekend. <laughs> Are you a little bit scared of making that trip again? No, did you just make that up? No, I'm saying uh, like bad storm. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna drive this time. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, we have the same results as last time. We got stuck in the snow. So. Yeah, just. Oh no, you're fine. It just makes me talk less. Go ahead. Um, you know, we got to continue to work on rebounding. You know, we had a good uh, three, four game stretch of keeping guys off the glass, and tonight I think we gave them, we gave up a little bit too many offensive rebounds. Um, you know, defensively we still got some areas we need to work on, um, and then offensively just kind of working on just you know staying focused, even though we have like a big lead and late in the game, and 
Uh, we kind of tend to get a little happy early, um, just focusing on being us and just uh, just trusting the process. John, uh, your, uh, your humble attitude there toward first place, obviously you guys as the senior leaders, um, how do you guys, as kind of leaders of this basketball team, keep the younger guys grounded and, and focused despite all the success you've had early on in conference? <clears throat> um, we just work hard every single day in practice, and they see us working hard, and they just follow us, and we have a group, a great group of newcomers, like we have 10 newcomers this year, and they just really follow us, and it's, it's pretty awesome. What's the most fun part then of this, this win streak? Winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just winning. Post-game post -game, post -game in the locker room has been great, great environment with Coach and What's all of us. Um, so we just out of that, um, at the start of conference play, uh, it's called the whatever it takes belt. And basically the guy that makes the most toughness plays in the game uh, gets the belt for the week. You know like those football, turn, like those turnover like my, belts? Like Miami's turnover like, chain. It's kind of like that in a way. Yes, today. And, uh, I mean, obviously the, the outcomes recently have, have been positive. But, you know, our guys have just had great focus. And I mean, it's been all year focusing on, our, on their preparation. Um, but, uh, but, 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 but you know, it's showing on the floor. They're coming every single day to practice with, you know, living the mantra, get better today than we were yesterday, and we're seeing it. And it helps that you have two, you know, super seniors that are just absolute pros with how they operate. And, you know, I, you've heard me say this before, but I, I, I believe it so much, you know, is that, you know, I told the guys early in the season, the newcomers, like, watch John and Case and watch them after we lose, watch them after we win, watch them on an off day, watch them after practice, watch them get to the floor early. You know, walk in the gym at 8.30 at night on any given night, and I bet you Case and Harold's in there. And, you know, those two guys, just their player development has been awesome. And what's happened is, is, is these newcomers have gotten to watch them, and, and, and they're getting better. And I think this group has really grown. And I still think they're going to continue to grow all the way, all the way through March. And we're going to face a ton of adversity as we go through. Like we got a tough road trip. We're going to South Dakota. Like I don't know. I, I've been paying attention. We're, we're 0 for two in the last two years out there. You know, we 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 we're hungry to go out there and, and get one. But you know, there it's a tough place to win. Um, and so I'm just pleased that they are attacking it. And today, you know, what what great pace we had and it all was started by the great crowds we put on the defensive end uh, we had active hands you know we were doubling in the post and we we're really really good in our rotations and just just really pleased with uh with 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 how we're playing but but really just how they're all attacking every single day together coach how big was that run at the end of the first half you know to put you guys up 13 there heading into the break i mean that that's you know when you can when you can throw like a hailmaker punch in that first half during a stretch, um, you know that that's that's really, really a good thing, you know. And and we did it with great defense. We were turning them over, which we're really hard to guard when when we get out in transition like that. And uh, and so you know we had 15 steals tonight. And then and then when you talk about mature plays on the offensive end, you know that's that's an area that we can continue to improve on is the turnovers. And we've been really elite, like top 20 in the country the last couple of years. This year we haven't been. We've been inconsistent there. And we had six turnovers tonight. And now you look at your point per possession and it's, you know, it's off the charts because we're taking care of the ball. We're not trying to make hero plays. And, you know, I thought our pace was really good offensively tonight. And it is, it's really hard to zone a team when your pace is like that and when your ball movement is like that. And I, and I like both of them today. Uh, I mean, it was, shoot, it was a focus first half. It was a focus yesterday, day before, day before. I mean, it's, he's a good player. Um, you know, they, they sit two guys on the post, um, which, uh, which, which, which is a challenge because and they're physical guys. And now, you know, you give up a little bit when you're trapping, you know, in the post. And so you're going to get caught in rotations. And so you're going to be a man down, maybe a guard on a big. So you're going to give up a little bit of that. So we, we understand that. Um, but, but I thought we could have been tougher early, and that's where he got us early. You know, it wasn't that he was scoring on his matchup as much as he was scoring when the ball got up on the rim. Um, and so, you know, that was a focus. But, you know, ultimately I think we kind of we, we wore him down a little bit. And also, I mean, their, their shooting percentage was pretty good. You know, and some of that was because 
because of the offensive rebounds. I mean, they had 14 offensive rebounds. Um, but, you know, we, we were able to turn them over. They had 18 turnovers. We had 15 steals. Um, and so I, I'd, I'd, I'd give up those again if I had to do all over again. Coach, you talked about your growth. Um, in early December, you were 1-3, and three, but you haven't lost since. Six games in a row you've won. What are you doing differently today than you were maybe in early December? I mean, we've played some really, really good opponents, so it's it's not necessarily us, and some of it's them. I mean, it's it's kind of a mixture of of, of both of those two uh, those two issues. But you know what what I one thing I think has really helped this group um, play at this high level with with our pace that we play at and, and the improved defense that we've seen is that we're playing with an extra guard that we haven't played with in the past. And so our rotations, you know, have been really good. We've been able to keep some fresh guys out there with, you know, Kaysen and John who are playing a heavier load of minutes, which really helps us. And, you know, the unselfishness of some guys to give up some minutes. I mean, we got a couple guys with 12, 15, 16 minutes that on most teams in the country would be playing, you know, 20 to 25. And because they come in there and, and they dominate those minutes, they're fresh. It allows us to play faster, cut harder, and defend better in crowds. And so that's been a huge part of it. And then just the evolution of each of those guys. I mean, just stacking details. And now they're not thinking as much as they're just playing. It's natural. It's becoming habits. Now, do you think at all about big picture and you, what you've already done? You've won two games in the Dakotas. You beat South Dakota State. You just beat the team that's tied for first. Uh, do you start – Can do you daydream a little bit about – what the potential for this You're the same is. guy that called me after we beat Indiana. We're going to Notre Dame, and you were like, John, have you told your guys how important this game is? <laughs> like, I get stressed out just hanging out with you sometimes, Tom. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I just, I'm enjoying the fact that our guys play with great energy today. You know, and we're going to get a chance to prepare tomorrow. I love the fact that when I walk in there with a the game plan, like, our dudes are locked in. Like, they're fun to coach, and they're, they're intent on, on listening. They don't execute everything, but, but they're going really, really hard. And this group is having a great time together. i got a bunch of guys out there. They bust my chops all the time. Like, that's fun. we got great relationships. And, you know, there was a great quote by Dabo Sweeney um, where he was talking about um, with his group that, you know, everybody talks about, hey, you know, attack the process. And he talks about, you know, yes, their guys attack the process and believe in the process, but the process, it's less about the process, it's more about the relationships within the process. And our guys, we talk about building equity with our guys all off season, and that's what it is. They, we, have, we have great relationships within our group. And these guys, they're playing for each other, and it's really fun. And, and we've had past groups doing this as well, but I just think these guys are really starting to stack details, and I, I believe fully that extra guard is just keeping us fresher and there's just there's there's no selfishness out there just everybody just trying to help the team whether it's flooding to the ball you know to cut baseline or you know it's it's making that extra pass or just making a cut that vacates you know an x so we can drive it Kaysen said earlier in this uh actually in the, in the preseason uh, about the chemistry of the team was different this year did the italy trip play a role in that yeah, and I know, you know, those guys, they say that every year. Um, so I'm not going to knock on them on that. I mean, we've had great chemistry with all these groups that have come through. I do, I do really like this, but I think great chemistry relative to how many new guys. You know, it's been a short period of time when you look at it. And, and Italy, absolutely. You know, and, you know, what a great shared experience. And it's something that I hope every student athlete has the opportunity to do. And, you know, they didn't just go and play games on an international trip. Like, I mean, it was cool. They were, they were, they were presenting from their class. And, like, those are things where you expose yourself. You know, you're sitting on Front Street a little bit, you know, having to expose yourself. And when, when you do that, like, that's how you grow. It's, it's not just like hanging out and playing video games, although I think our guys are pretty good at video games. But, you know, yes, I do believe that that was a big, big part of this year. Coach, Cam gave you uh, some, some really good minutes tonight. How important has he been, or, you know, what have you liked in his progression? So I mean, he's got an unbelievable motor. Um, if there is, I mean, as long as you're not asking him to remember it for a long, long time, like, I'm telling you, he locks in. Like, I give our guys just random. I'll 
blow at him five keys and like that son of a gun can repeat them verbatim like this like he is so intent on listening and wants to please um like he's every coach's dream with that and like he plays so hard he cuts so hard he's an unbelievable offensive rebounder he just has a knack for getting quick fouls and so he'd be playing a ton more minutes and he really helped dylan too like i mean dylan's playing time minutes. i love how dylan's been able to play 28 minutes but if we get dylan down to 23 24 you know and cam get more and dylan not have to extend his minutes it'd be great because he's really playing at a high level to be able to help him out I mean I, I love watching him for the next two and a half years he's gonna be a good player and he is but, uh, you, uh, you're probably not surprised by this because you've said all year that you've been impressed with this team's kind of mentality and, and approach um, but to be able to, to put a win like South Dakota State behind you and back it up with with an equally impressive performance tonight I guess how encouraging is that as a coach to be able to see him kind of Stack those performances back to back. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm really pleased. I'll be honest with you though, you guys are asking me all these higher level questions. Like I think all the time. Like I mean, we go next game. I'm literally just thinking about like the next scout. How we're gonna guard that flex screen? You know, how are we gonna? You know, you got a couple guys injured. I mean, I, I'm not thinking ahead that much, and I'm not definitely not thinking. You know, in the past, other than hey, let's let's use this shared experience to get better. Um, and, uh, you know, I like that we've had a lot of shared experience and a lot of shared uh, adversity so far this year that we get to reflect on. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm trying to stay in the present with, with, with this group, and I think that's the best way to do it. And that's how I've, you know, as I've grown as a head coach, is just really just hey, focus on the next minute. So you mentioned how hungry you are to get a win in South Dakota. How important is it, you know, to not have a letdown as you guys look forward to the next one? And how do you move on to the next one? Yeah, try not to build up any one game, man. It's a long, it's a long Summit League season, um, you know. And uh, you know, our returners, like they know, you know, um, they know. The last two years, you know, South Dakota uh, has been in the top three or four in the league with with us. You know, a place that we've, you know, we, we take a lot of pride in being in the league. And uh, you know, they've been they've been really good. You know, they got a handful of injuries right now. It's a different head coach. They got they play a little bit differently with some of their lineups. So it's going to be really unique. You know, and and uh, you know the thing is is like. Like, they see what we're doing, too, that we're playing pretty well. Like, you think they're not going to have their A game in there? And that's something, I mean, these returners, they spent their whole career being hunted like that. So that's familiar. But these newcomers, like, you got you to gotta be ready. Like, guys are going to play better than they are when, when you walk in the gym. And it's a road game, man. Road games in our league are really, really hard to win. You know, it's supposed to snow out there this weekend. I'm just informing you. We're road tough. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Don't flinch. The program doesn't flinch. All right. But I may be leaving our radio guy behind. There you go. <laughs>